Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leathercraft, and we are making a gorgeous but simple leather knife sheath. In fact, it doesn't look simple. That is gorgeous, right? Okay, chapter one, great example of that. Our pattern, nothing difficult, no detailed measurements. Chapter two, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to cut, we're going to mark for our welt, and we're going to do some of our edge work. That'll make sense shortly. But anything I use in this video, weaverleathercraft.com, or check below, we've got links that are going to take you straight to our website. Now, we are going to work with a beautiful leather. So let's do this. Let's take our pattern and lay this out in a very efficient manner. Now let's start with our main body, lay this in. But what we're going to do is, again, be very efficient here. We can lay in our welt down here, drop that in, and what we have now is seven inches, which easily is going to do our strap. Now we won't draw that in. We'll actually use a wooden strap and lace cutter for that. But right here, if I lay that in, very nice. I might could even be a little more efficient, but with this in mind, before I can get about five sheaths out of this, so therefore your, your leather cost per sheath is a couple of sodas. Now, love this leather. 12 by 24 inch panel, and it cuts, it stamps, it dies. Okay, so we've got this laid out. In fact, let's move these out of the way now. To save us a little time, I dropped in our welt onto some of our plastic sheeting because this is just not great pattern material to begin with, but that's going to be a mess to try to trace that out. So I've got that on some of our plastic sheeting. All right, so let's start here. Move that out of the way. What I can do is lay my square down on that. That's going to hold my pattern down. Now on my strap, really right here, all I need is a start and a stop in my end. So I don't actually have to draw that out because we're going to use a pen and what a mess. I hate using a pen, but for the video, uh, pencil or scribes just not going to show up. All right, so I'm going to lay these out and draw them out just like we had them laying out a second ago. And there we go. Okay, our pieces are cut out. Now, I'm not necessarily going to trace out our strap. Again, we'll have room for that once we cut out our main body. But pen, not a great way to go again. But we're going to trim, but also, too, we're going to bevel every edge that we see here. In fact, all the edges here except where we trim will be invisible. So pin in this situation, not so bad. All right, so let's cut these out. And cutting a round end, like I said, we can just make small cuts on that as we work our way around. And there we go, that gives us a good round end. Now on this, we're going to use a punch, so I'll simply cut right down to the top of my round corner. We're going to step over here, drop in a round and punch here, and a round and punch on the end. Now, when you're punching, we don't necessarily have to punch anything here. You can cut these by hand. We've, we've got nice big round corners there. But I'm going to use a round and punch, and basically use half of that. So I'm going to drop the wing right in my cut line. There we go, and we can trim this off if we need to. Same on the other side. Now, if we happen to have a little glue or a little ink on our edge, it's not going to be an issue because we're going to bevel that off. All right, so on this end, let's mark this so we know exactly where our end punch needs to be. All right, let's drop in our pattern. In fact, there's only four holes on this, so it, the holes tend to get forgotten, <laughs> forgotten, and I end up punching those last, but there we go. All right, and a revolving punch. I'm going to drop in holes there, not too small. I don't want to have to fight to get the rivet through there. But also, too, I don't want that rivet swimming around in there. If it's a little bit snug, it will be a good bite and will be highly durable. All right, there we go. Okay, so on this end, one and a quarter inch, I'm going to bring my tool in just about half of an inch above that last hole. There we go. Okay, looks very professional. We'll trim this when we get back to our main table, and we'll use this piece for our strap. Okay, so on this, that is almost separated. There we go. Okay, and I think the same on this side. There we are. Okay, let's set that aside. Looks great. Now a little bit of pin there, no problem. We'll bevel that right off. All right, so for our strap, this is one of my favorite tools. In fact, one of the most used tools in my shop. We're going 5 8 inch. So I've got my wooden strap cutter set for a 5 8 inch cut. Watch that. Isn't that nice? 5 8 inch, in fact, 8 inch all the way up to 4 inches wide. Let's cut this down to 7 inches. 
In fact, I tell you what, let's trim square there and then come in there. All right, got a good strap there. Now, we're going to take this a piece at a time because some we will bevel, some we will groove, and in fact, some edges we're actually going to do later, okay? So let's start with our main body. Since we're going to sew this, we're not going to bevel or groove. A groove line on the back will never hit that coming through with a chisel. So let's don't even add one, and it's going to look great. But on my strap, what I want to do is I want to bevel both sides outside, both sides inside. And our last edge, look at that. That is just pristine leather. Cuts, bevels, grooves. It is a pleasure to work with. Okay, so that's all we're going to do there for now. We're going to slick our edges, but let's set that aside for just a second. We're going to move over to our main facial body or the, main, the outside panel. All we're going to do here, again, we're going to sew this. So first thing, we want a groove. Now typically put a groove 1 8 inch in from the edge. That to me is a good distance for a stitch line. Now we're going to sew all the way around, but across the top here, I'm going to drop in a groove just because that looks great. To me, I love an edge that's treated. Groove line, bevel, and slick. And for the rest of it, let's just groove this for our chisel. And up to our end, there we go. Okay, so we've got a good guide for our chisel line. All right, let's move that out of the way. Now, on this, again, we're going to sew, so we're not going to bevel, but let's bevel right across the throat. There we go, inside and out, and this, too, we will slick, all right? Set that aside. Now, over to our strap, let's add a groove line on both sides. It's going to make that very finished, very professional. All right, there we go. Now, we're going to bevel both front, both back. And our backside, nice, good leather to work with. Now, on our welt, we need nothing. That piece is ready to go. So let's set that pattern aside there. In fact, up or down matters not which side's up on that. We'll never see it. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to take, let's start right here with our strap. I've got just some water. We can always use gum trag at the end, but part of this, like right here, across our throat, we'll never get to that with a slicker uh, when this is assembled. So let's go ahead and slick our edges, what edges we can right now. There we go, I'm simply adding water. I don't want so much water on this that it drains across my face or drips. In case I'm using a lighter colored dye, I don't want a water line there. Okay, let's take our, our uh, slicker and about the third, third cut down is going to be just right for seven to eight. Now again, pressure, not really the point here more friction. So I'm going to run this back and forth several times, maybe a dozen times, and I don't know if the camera can pick this up. I'll do my best. But now that edge, is a, it's got a high slick on it, super smooth and very rounded. Very cool. That's exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to finish off this strap, then we'll jump over to our face panel. All right, that looks good, feels good, very nice touch. Okay, face we are going to groove this, or bevel this, later, but for right now, let's slick right there. And with this, what we can do is I can lay this off the edge of my table, and that way it's got some good stability there, and it's easy to hold, easy to slick. But again, pressure, not our point. We don't want to push so hard on this that we actually develop a little lip there. But look at that again. This leather comes through for me. Okay, last piece. Now right here. We're simply going to slick the outside edges of our strap or our belt loop. And there we go. Going to spend a little extra time on our shoulder there, get that good and slicked. But what a nice touch. Feels good, looks good. Okay, so you can follow me to chapter three. We're going to drop in a stamp design, or if you don't want to design, jump up to chapter four where we're going to start to prep for hand sewing.